So I guess a lot of this started because I was thinking about what we're doing with the operating system in terms of Microsoft releasing new versions of the operating system and the .NET framework. And over the last five years, we've created this really rich environment for .NET developers, really enticing a lot of our developer community into programming against .NET. But I realized that those .NET developers are missing out on the opportunity of programming some of the features of the operating system. So Windows Vista has a huge number of features that you can't access just directly through .NET. You need to p-invoke or you need to program against the Win API. So I really see .NET right now as a sandbox that, yes, it protects developers. Yes, it's a cheap way to get development done fast. But you're not taking advantage of the operating system that you're working on. Now, a lot of the time, that means going back to C or C++ programming, leaving the safety or the security of, of the .NET framework. But it gives you access to a whole bunch of new features. So this, the core security features in Windows Vista only accessible by programming against directly against the Windows API. Things like error reporting features that are built into Windows Vista that just don't exist or not available on, on, on the .NET framework. Um, shell extensions, if you want to extend the way the Windows Vista shell actually works and have pop-ups and uh, build into, for example, Sync Center, the Windows Vista Sync Center technology, you really have to program in C, C++. They're COM APIs. You build your C code against those, program against those. Other cool features that you can use the operating system for, power, power management. There's a huge amount of uh, things you can do in terms of extending the battery life of a laptop. And let's face it, most of us are running Vista on a laptop now. We're not running on a, a desktop. So by using the Power APIs, we can manage our application, scale down what we're doing when, the, when we're running on battery, um, scale down as the battery is draining so that we're using even less battery power so we get an extended lifetime for the laptop. Um, there's a lot of things you can do, but you can only access that, again, through the C APIs. So another reason to get out of the framework. Uh, networking, network awareness, knowing what networks you're connected to, knowing you are connected to a network, knowing what the speed of that network is. Those kind of features, again, built into the Windows API, available directly on the Windows API. Some of that is in the framework, but a lot of it's not, so accessing that. So there's actually a very cool set of um, demo technologies or samples that ships with the Vista SDK. So the Windows Vista SDK has got uh, a set of samples called cross-technology samples for .NET developers to learn how to program against the Windows APIs.